I thank the chairman, and I'd like to yield my time to my colleague from California, Mr. Hoffman. I thank the gentleman from Colorado, and to my friend from uh, the Central Valley. You know, I too have had communities uh, devastated by catastrophic wildfire. Um, I've lost constituents. Uh, we are still recovering in many cases from some of those wildfires. And so, uh, Mr. Duarte, I, I think you understand that the Paradise Fire indeed was a terrible tragedy, but it wasn't caused by the Endangered Species Act. I think you know that it was caused by a public utility that failed to maintain its equipment. There was a piece of equipment that was over 100 years old that had not been inspected, that had not been maintained, and that failed in high winds during a critical drought where the entire landscape was a tinderbox. And that's why we got that fire, and that's why we got so many other fires. But to try to scapegoat the Endangered Species Act for a tragedy like that uh, misses the actual accountability that's needed for that fire. And there actually was criminal accountability in that case found. Um, and redirects the conversation back to politics in a really unfortunate way. So, Mr. Chairman, I just want to... gentleman yield? Yes. Yes. Mr. Negus, would you yield? Of course. Uh, we're, uh, I think the reference was to, is it Pacific Gas and Electric? Is that the utility that you're Correct. Refer referencing out in California? Uh, weren't they denied permits to be able to upgrade their lines? No. They were not denied any permits? <laughs> The Public Utilities Commission regulates the requirements for line upgrades uh, in this case. I'm not aware of any permit that was denied to upgrade this. In fact, what I'm aware of is that uh, there's a book you could read on this. It's called California Burning. And it talks about how the corporate bottom line led to a failure to maintain and inspect and upgrade this equipment. And that brought us some of these tragic Mr. Ne fires. Mr. Negus, would you yield for, to me for a minute? Okay, thank you very much. So um, California's got a wonderful history here over the last decade or two. They've gone the route of Western Europe where they've taken their infrastructure and they've let it go in the, in the uh, dream of the green dream. And uh, that the green fantasy was going to work. California's a failed state as a result of it and that's part of the reason their infrastructure was not reinvested in because California did not make it a priority. Who runs? Wait, I'm, I'm going I'm to reclaim my who time. Who runs the I, state I, of California? I, I thank the gentleman Mr. for Chair, reclaiming which party his time. Runs. No, I thank state the gentleman. Mr. For Mr. Chairman, I, I gave you some time. Let me get yeah. my colleagues. Uh, uh, I thank the gentleman. Back on Planet A, um, there has been a lot of scrutiny and a lot of investigation and actual uh, criminal proceedings and civil proceedings on this subject. Uh, nowhere in any of that was it found that the Endangered Species Act was the culprit behind these tragic wildfires, and shame on anyone who would suggest otherwise. I yield back.